Hi everybody, thank you for taking the time to view this video. My name is Christian Vasquez and I'm going to give a quick introduction of WinVolt, a program that I've created, what it is and what it does. A quick background about myself, I'm an IT enthusiast, I love all things IT. I do it full time uh, as a career choice and part time as well as a hobby, <laughs> my wife can attest to that. And uh, down here we can go ahead and show my uh, certifications just kind of as a uh, uh, credentials pass, I guess, for the uh, program you're about to run, and uh, the source, the actual repo where you can get the legitimate and up-to-date version is on SourceForge, and again, these links are static on top, so um, you can always go to them if uh, you wanted to on your web browser, and that is sourceforge.net forward slash projects forward slash winbolt. You can just download it here and get the latest release. Most people will be downloading it through Chocolatey. It is a uh, package that is available through the Chocolatey framework as well. Um, should get the latest version if you install it through Chocolatey. Some honorable mentions as well is the Neo Teal, uh, Major Geeks, G Hacks, and Softpedia, which have taken the time uh, to kind of run through my program um, and kind of give an explanation and brief overview of it. Uh, I really appreciate that. Thanks, guys. And uh, moving forward from that, so the new version is uh, 3.4, uh, which you can launch if you haven't already on your computer. You can launch it through the command line. So type in uh, CMD, make sure you run it with administrative rights, which I do here, and just type in WinVolt. So for all those system administrators out there or uh, tech savvy uh, people, this is going to be a quick launch and much more easier to do, and we'll go ahead and run this now, uh, WinVolt, and uh, I apologize for the background noise, my daughter's watching a, a show right now, um, but pretty much uh, once you launch uh, WinVolt 3.4, uh, 3.4 you're going to get this new logo, and of course agree to the terms as stated and we're at the main menu once it verifies the admin rights and here we are so uh, the one thing I do want to point out which people have asked is what's the uh, location of uh, uh, Winbolt so we'll go ahead and move forward on to the C drive and you'll see it here so Winbolt there we are this is the directory in which everything runs in where everything's stored and likely um, gonna stay there moving forward so we have uh, Winbolt here uh, CMD which you can just right click and run as administrator and there we are we have uh, Winbolt I've hesitated on creating a shortcut on the desktop um, but you know at this current current time I don't have one um, and I likely won't be releasing one so the best way to run Winbolt is through the command line so we'll type in Winbolt again bring us back up and that's just uh, enough of that so uh, once we're at Winbolt the main menu we have six options right off the bat that is one install chocolatey two, run Windows updates, uh, three, enable maintenance script, four, rkill, five, defrag, and six, all the above. So typically on a computer that's heavily infected or um, a workstation that's just boggled down, you're going to run option six, which says everything that runs through it, you know, set it, forget it, and come back in, you know, three, two to three hours, and you're good to go. The computer is going to be in much better shape. It is going to reboot. It's going to do the um, system file check, which is only done after the reboot is finished. Um, so once your computer restarts, be very attentive to the fact that you don't power it off after so uh, because it will through a it, it will run through a system file check um, that does look kind of scary if you're you know if you've never uh, seen that before especially for home users um, you know it might be kind of intimidating but just let it do its thing and it'll come back online so uh, this is the general menu here um, of course you know number two runs updates and chocolatey updates any programs that you've installed through chocolatey will be updated in option two um, option three is pretty much the uh, script that runs ma uh, maintenance every month on your computer on the 16th at 10 p.m. So make sure to leave your computer on during that time. Um, it's going to run through and clean all your temp files. It's going to do a malware scan. It's going to uh, improve your computer performance, um, which is you know very good to do. Of course, this is why you're running the maintenance automatic, uh, sorry, maintenance automation utility, uh, which is Winbolt, uh, to have your computer at pristine condition. And option five is kind of more. Um, towards the hardware uh, health side for the hard drive. If you have an SSD, obviously this doesn't um, you know, concern you to an extent. You don't want to do a defrag on the SSD, which Winbolt does not. So if you run this accidentally, don't be afraid. It's going to skip over the defragging section. OK, moving forward, uh, we have the H, which will launch this video. Um, and you have N for next menu, and which is what we want to do. Go on to the next menu. Uh, so this is menu two, second menu. And this is probably my most favorite part of uh, Winbolt is the Special Tools and Actions menu. So we'll hit 9, hit Enter, and immediately detects that we're running the core version of Winbolt. Um, 
again, when the wind volt is broken down to two parts, which is uh, one application at 46 megs, which is a core, and then the add-on functionality program um, of wind volt, which is uh, I believe 340 megabytes. So uh, obviously that's a massive download, and it's not really needed all the time. But if you want all the features of WinBolt, go ahead and download it, and you have the, have the option to do it here quickly. Um, we'll hit no and skip that. Um, and here you'll see exactly why um, that add-on utility is actually uh, required. So some of these options are disabled right off the bat. You'll be able to see options 16 and 17 are disabled, which gives a limited. Um, limited feature to the option 100 which is the thunder scan um, so in the core version you have a limited thunder scan which will only run through the options listed there um, which is still you know pretty good for I'd say 90 percent of the computers but if you do want the added functionality of the other programs that are integrated into Winbolt then you can run um, the add-on utility and so kind of uh, briefly going through these you'll see you have the option to rename the host computer uh, backup files onto you know another location. Extract Windows serial key. Very straightforward. And 13 fix printing spool issues. If you have a printer that's very pesky, goes offline, um, or just doesn't work properly, um, a lot of times it's because the spool is you know backed up. So this gives you the option to clear it, fixing that issue. Um, option 14 runs Arkill, of course, stops active malware. Option 15 runs Kaspersky TD uh, TDRSS Killer, uh, which will seek out and remove any rootkits on the workstation. Um, or your computer and option 16 which is Sophos to run a, a full system scan option 17 Viper option 18 Malwarebytes option 19 MCSoft option 20 which is very unique um, typically uh, this is supposed to be run after you verify that the computer is clean doesn't have any malware uh, you kind of want to seal the hole for any malware to get back in specifically crypto malware which if you haven't seen the uh, the recent scares, you know, with all the uh, ransomware that's being thrown out to corporations and pretty much extracting and siphoning money from the small, medium businesses at this uh, at this current time, um, it's the threat is very real. You know, so Crypto Prevent does a great job. Um, it's an application that you're supposed to run after the fact. It's been cleaned, and it will prevent crypto malware from, of course, encrypting your computer, or kind of alert you and prevent certain things from running. It's very good. Um, so. Uh, to just to run that, but only if you know what you're doing after the fact that your computer is clean. Moving forward from that, you can <coughs> create a system restore point. Options there, 21. Um, option 22 is a full system scan, which is AdWord Cleaner. Yes, this is running the uh, newest release from uh, Malwarebytes now that they've taken over AdWord Cleaner. It's a great program. I really love it. I use it for my home all the time. Um, so for my uh, family members, I always you know suggest that they run option 22. Um, so that pretty much settles this uh, video tutorial on what WinBolt is and what it does. Um, it's ultimately a maintenance automation utility uh, for the home computer, the home user, or the advanced home user um, that's looking to automate the process of mundane Windows tasks um, that you know you kind of have to do. You're not, you know, it's not an option anymore. You must have, uh, you have to keep your computer at pristine condition at this point. And uh, this will really save you time and even money because I mean, if you keep the health of your computer going, then you can extend and prolong the life of it. Um, yeah, let me know if you have any questions. You can always email me. Uh, my email address is here on top. It's Christian at winbolt.me. If you have any questions or recommendations, or maybe you run into something that you know you're trying to get more insight on, I'd love to help you out. You know, this is something I've been doing for some time now. Um, I created the program in 2015, I believe, 15, and so yeah, I've, I've been able to you know adjust this to my needs and 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 people that have offered me suggestions. I've tailored it to their needs as well. And um, you know, I really appreciate the work that um, that I've I've gotten through other people and and how I've been able to collaborate. But uh, yeah, again, I appreciate your time. Thank you for you know viewing this video, and take care. Goodbye.